You know, today I just wanted to do a quick video going over the raw text printing feature that you may have seen on the Ape Apps launcher for Windows. I had a guy ask me an email the other day what that's all about, so today I'm going to demonstrate it for you and kind of give you the rationale behind why I implemented it and what it's for. So just to show you, what I'm really talking about is this section here on the uh, Ape Apps launcher settings. This is only available on Windows clients, but it's this raw text printing thing. And what it allows you to do is if you have an old printer that plugs into an LPT port, you can print plain text to it. Now, it doesn't sound that interesting, but I'm going to show you right now why I implemented this. So I'm here right now in the back room of my basement, and I'm going to just show you right now the printer that I have that kind of brought on this entire raw text printing thing idea that I had. Take a look. This here is my Epson LX800 dot matrix printer. And we got this thing when I was a kid. I think it was probably about 1987. And it still works today. And uh, you can see it uses this continuous feed paper. And the cool thing is the ink, it uses these ribbon ink cartridges. And unlike, you know, normal printer ink where the printer, where the ink refills cost more than the printer, these ink ribbons are ultra cheap. I don't remember the price. It's like five bucks. And they last forever. Like, they last years and years. And so if you're just printing regular text stuff that uh, you don't really need that high of quality on, these things are actually kind of cool still, even though they're basically dinosaurs. So if I pull up the Ape Apps launcher here on a Windows machine, and I check out the settings and make sure I have the raw text printing enabled, I can open a app like TypePad, and I can say... See if I can type one-handed here. I love my colony. And then I hit print. I can choose to use my raw text printer that I've set up. There we go. I love my colony. Now that's kind of neat. But one of the other cool things I didn't show you is that this actually works on an iPhone or an Android too. Let me show you. And so if you look here at the Ape Apps Launcher, I've added this new thing called Local Resource Sharing. And when this is enabled, um, a lot of Ape Apps running on your same local network or Wi-Fi network as your Ape Apps Launcher will be able to use your raw printer that you have set up. So if you see on my little iPhone here, I can go to the same TypePad app and type, I love Antiquitous. Uh, and then say print. I can choose my raw text printer. So this entire feature was added so that basically I could use my old printer from any of my apps. And if you think about it, from a nerd perspective, it's actually pretty cool that I was printing to a, you know, over 30 year old printer using my iPhone. And most likely I'm probably going to be the only person who ever uses it, but that's the reason why it's in there. So for the guy who asked and for anybody else who's wondering what that raw text printing stuff is all about, there it is. It's so I put it in there so that I could use my old dot matrix printer. And I don't know if anyone else has a dot matrix printer. I don't know if anybody else will ever use it. Probably not. But that was the whole idea behind it. Thanks for watching.